Hi, yeah, I'm doing a video log today. Um, I've recently started doing the video logs because I've been wanting to do it for a few years and never got around to it. But at the moment, I'm going through a lot of medical issues, a lot of appointments to hospitals and doctors and things. So I thought now would be a good time to start these video logs. Uh, you know, because I'm trying to show what it's like to live with my fan and all the medical stuff is part of that. So, um, so today I'm going to just show you, tell you what I've been up to today uh, and what's going on with me at the, at, in the next coming couple of weeks. Um, basically today I went to the GP's office uh, because uh, a couple of weeks ago I was sent a letter from them asking me to make an appointment because they had received a letter from my heart doctors at the hospital. So uh, they didn't put in the letter what, what exactly it was all about. So I've been worrying for a couple of weeks. Oh my God, what is it? You know, has something gone wrong with my heart again? Have I got to go for another operation and blah, blah, blah. And, you know, it's just been on my mind for a couple of weeks. Uh, but today that was all cleared up because today I went to the GPs for the appointment. And basically all it was is the fact that they want to up my blood pressure medication. So basically at the moment I take about one of these a day, which is two milligrams of Candice Artin. Uh, and I take one of them a day. But now I've got to take four milligrams of candesartin. So I've got to finish off these packets and take two a day. And then in then once I've finished them, I've got the proper four milligrams one here. But I've only got like I've only got like a week's worth. Because in two weeks, I have to go back to the doctor's surgery again. And they're going to up it even more. So basically now every two weeks, I've got to go back to the doctor's surgery, get my blood pressure tested. Then they're going to up the dosage again. So from it's gone from two now to four. Then to it'll probably go to eight milligrams and so on and so on they're going to double it each time every two weeks so until they get to a level they're happy with because they're basically trying to lower my blood pressure to make it easier for my blood to be pumped around my heart and also to put it's it's kind of a preventative measure because they're trying to prevent any more damage to my aorta. Uh, because with Marfan syndrome, the aorta is very weak. Uh, so they're trying to take the stress off of that. And where I've already had one surgery because of um, an aneurysm and stretching and tearing of the aorta already, uh, they they fixed that once already, so they don't want it happening again. And they don't want anything else like aortic dissections happening. So basically, they're trying to get my blood pressure really low so that the blood doesn't flow as fast through the aorta. So it takes the stress level down on the aorta type thing. So yeah, that's one thing. That I've been doing today. Also, I had to make another appointment at the doctor's today as well at the GP because I've been having a lot of issues uh, with extreme fatigue, and basically I just keep falling asleep, uh, and I get dizzy spells and faint spells. And I know that it's nothing to do with my blood pressure medication. I've already spoken to my GP about that and he doesn't think it is either. So I've got to go back 
a couple of weeks to see the GP again to talk about that in more detail uh, because it's been getting very bad. My mobility is gotten worse because of it. I can't walk very far. So like walking five, ten minutes down the road, you know, a normal to person, it'd take five, ten minutes. Me, it's going to take me 15, 20 minutes now and I have to stop and take rests every couple of steps because I feel like I'm going to pass out. Um, also, it's been affecting my cognitive abilities. So, like my my memory, my speech, my you know recalling things, words and stuff. Like trying to remember certain words. Um, like the other day, I remember asking my partner John, you know, could you get me a drink from the fridge, please? But for the life of me, I could not remember the name of the fridge. And I was just like, I knew what it was. I knew what it did. I just couldn't remember the word fridge. You know? So I'm sat there for a few minutes going, um, 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 the, um. In the end, I just went, the big thing, big silver thing in the kitchen that makes everything cold. <laughs> you know? So it's, it's taking its toll the whole thing so and um, I know with Marfan syndrome fatigue is one of the symptoms and I've had fatigue all my life but never this bad you know I can go I used when I was younger I used to be able to go a week or so you know going off to school going out doing all the stuff then by the weekend I was knackered and I needed a couple of a day or two in bed rest or whatever. You know, or it'd take me a couple of weeks till I get to that fatigue state. But now, if I just go out shopping, I need three days to recover in bed. Then when I get out of bed I get up and I do some housework I need if I do a day of housework I need another three days to recover so it's getting really hard I can't go out with my friends at the moment too much because I don't want to be a burden on them and I don't want to fall asleep in the middle of a nightclub you know um, and of course then bouncers are going to come along and be like you know you're drunk and I'm not actually drunk, uh, but it appears I'm drunk because of the state I'm in when I'm in that fatigue state. When I'm in a fatigue state walking down the road, I'm all over the place and I look like a drunk person. You know, so it's kind of taking its toll on my life at the moment, which I guess a lot of you can understand. Um, but yeah, so, uh, also I have, I'm waiting for a follow-up rheumatology, rheumatology appointment to talk about my hair and possible surgery for that in the next couple of weeks. Um, and I've been doing physio for that, so, you know, and then also I've got a, oh, what was it, a... Oh, the bone doctor. <laughs> I've forgotten the words again. Here we go. Fatigue. You see. Um, orthopedics. Oh, uh, that's it. Orthopedics. Yeah. <laughs> um, but so yeah, I've got orthopedics, which that appointment was made by the rheumatologist for me. She referred me. So I'm not sure what I'm going to be talking about there with them. I think that might be about my hip again, maybe, or maybe my legs or, or something. But I shall find that out when I go to that appointment. Um, but yeah, so loads of medical stuff going on. But yeah, so that's what's going on with me at the moment. Um, so, but I'd like to end this little vlog video on a informative note type thing um that is a book uh my 
fiance got me for Christmas, uh, Marfan syndrome, causes, tests and treatment options. It's an interesting book. It's available on Amazon, so you guys have a look at that. Um, there's many more books like this available on there about Marfan. So do have a look because I think it could be helpful for a lot of you. I've been reading it and I've learned a bit from it. It's been helpful for me. So do have a look for a book like that. could be helpful to you all. So anyway, thank you for watching this vlog video. Uh, hopefully I'll probably be doing some more soon. Um, so I hope I haven't rambled on too much. Hope this has been informative for you a bit and helpful or whatever, you know. So thank you for watching and goodbye.